Now, our redesigner takes on a Harlem brownstone where she will transform a room without spending a thing. Anika Daniels Osaze loves living in Harlem. It's just very cultural. You know, you can find anything you want. I like being here. She and her husband have been renovating their 135-year-old brownstone. It's about five floors and we have a cellar. So, uh, but it's narrow, so everything is like a corridor when you're walking through it. And narrow is the only way to describe this living room. The furniture just seems to lay long across the wall. You know, it's hard when you're having conversations, you feel like you're in single file. But it's our favorite room because these are pieces that we brought back from Egypt. We travel there each year. And not only Egypt. This is something that we got from Ghana last summer. The chairs in this corner, Jabari's aunt brought back from the Congo. What is she looking for? We wanted to feel warmer. We wanted to feel cozy. Redesigner Kelly Edge can help. When you come into this room, you don't know where to go. If you want a conversation, this is the area, but it's also a pass-through to another room. A little confusing. Back here is a nice sofa, but look, everyone's going to sit together in a line. Not too conversational. And boy, are we ignoring this great fireplace. So, we get started and clear the room. The sofa is going on the opposite side of the room and facing the fireplace. Before, remember, your back was to the fireplace, so this time this piece will now capture that. We add the glass cabinet and the coffee table. Basically, this is it for this part of the room, because I really want to keep this open for people who are just coming through. This room is so narrow and so long, we have to break it into two. But here's my master plan. We're going to put all the conversation over on this side of the room with a great view to the outside and no people coming through the conversation. And for conversation, we need chairs. Maybe we need to mix the colors up a bit. We want to try the two wooden chairs in the room, but... <laughs> so they are out, and we are back to the original four. Yeah, yep, that's so it. That works. Yeah. yeah, all right, let's keep moving. And these are chairs. Yeah, so more so seating options. Wow. <laughs> that's four more people we can put in this room. Now we have all the long pieces on the long wall, and then we have the smaller pieces in this little square nook here, so it actually looks like it belongs in the space. So I like it a lot. I think it's great. The artwork in this room was hung so high, you had to strain your neck to see the details. We're bringing it down at the eye level, and it's adding so much drama to the room. All of these papyri we picked up different times each time we went to Egypt, so now to see them all in one room, it actually seems to make sense. We take a look around the house and find even more interesting treasures. The accessories in this home are the highlights. They tell the story of the homeowner's travels. They give us balance and that finished look. Remember the room before? Somehow, it doesn't seem so long and narrow anymore. When we started, you didn't even know where to sit down in this room. Now, our pass-through area reads like a gallery. And look at this great seating area we've created. You know exactly where you want to have your conversation now. And our fireplace is a dramatic focal point. I will definitely use this room more often now because I feel like the furniture makes sense now. You know, things aren't spread all over the place and it's just not a mess like it was the last time. I love it. I really love it. And here comes Anika's husband, Jabari. Wow. <laughs> the verdict? Do we live here? <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes it. <laughs> Next up in Trash to Treasure, projects for all your plastic.